Have you heard of the trad wife movement? Michael Snyder reports, in our time, everything about marriage, family, and gender is being redefined, but not everyone is happy with these changes. In fact, many uh, long for a bygone era when life was simpler and families seemed to be much happier. This desire to recapture what has been lost has spawned the trad wife movement, and this movement has been causing a, a tremendous amount of controversy all over social media in recent months. Needless to say, Many modern feminists absolutely abhor the social values of the 1950s, but it's precisely those values that trad wives are seeking to promote. On certain corners of the internet, a segment of women is exhibiting a nostalgia for an era it has never known. These millennials and Zoomers glamorize the aesthetics of the 1950s Americana, donning retro fit and flare dresses and posting vintage illustrations of a proned uh, apron housewives placing dinner on the table. The mainstream media has been trying to downplay the significance of this movement, and CNN even went so far as to label Tradwives as a fringe group. In the grand scheme of internet phenomena, Tradwives are a fringe group, they said. Online mentions of Tradwives go at least as far back as five years ago, but 2020 saw a noticeable uptick in usage of the term. According to Deborah Etienne, a data analyst and researcher for the social media marketing agency Brandwatch, the trad wife discourse continued to grow in 2022 as trad wife content across social media increased and media outlets subsequently covered the trend. But while Etienne found about 152,000 mentions of trad wives across Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, forums and blogs over the last year, Negative mentions overwhelmingly outnumber positive ones, suggesting a strong backlash is present as well. But if trad wives really are a fringe group, why have they been able to garner so much attention? One 29-year-old trad wife that has developed a very large following on social media says that she has decided to stay home with her children because, quote, her own mom wasn't around enough when she was a kid, end quote. A mom of two has told how she lives like a fully-fledged 1950s-style housewife and her decision to quit the office was inspired by feeling neglected as a child. Alexandra De La Rosa, 29, from the San Diego, is part of a growing movement of so-called trad wives, short for traditional wives, whereby women live by old-fashioned gender stereotypes. The Californian who stays at home to cook clean and look after the children while her husband goes to work, said she adopted the homemaker mindset because her own mom was not around enough when she was a kid. Spending more time with our children should actually be a national priority because the truth is that our kids are a mess. Scores on standardized tests just keep falling, childhood obesity rates just keep rising, and the horrifying crime epidemic that we are currently dealing with is largely being fueled by kids under the age of 20. If all U.S. children were raised in traditional families with traditional values, crime rates would be very low. But instead, crime rates are absolutely soaring right now. And here's just one example. Compared to the first 22 days of 2021, the major crime rate in Democrat-run Chicago is already up 97% this year. Reports wire, uh, wire points Compared to those same 22 days last year, crime is up 61%. Sadly, even though this has become exceedingly clear that we have been doing, what we've been doing is not working, our society continues to run very rapidly in the wrong direction. The birth rate has plunged to an all-time low, and at this point the percentage of unmarried women in the United States has fallen below the 50% mark. Their power is growing thanks to the demographic winds. The number of never married women has grown from about 20% in 1950 to over 30% in 1922, while the percentage of unmarried women has declined from almost 70% in 1950 to under 50% today. Overall, the percentage of married households with children has declined from 37% in 1976 to 21% today. And even many of those that are supposedly married are not necessarily in traditional relationships. 
We live in a time when anything goes, that includes something like a romantic quad. Two couples who fell in love and started a four-way relationship are candidly opening up about their experiences with polyfamory, a practice that seems uh, that sees them all living under the same roof in a romantic quad while caring, caring for their kids together. While Alisa Rogers, 34, when she and her husband, Tyler, 35, met Sean Hartless, 46, and his wife, Tanya, 28, from Oregon, they had no idea what the term polyamory, the name given when a person has one or more partners at the same time, was, but when feelings flourished, the couples were more than ready to embrace polyfamory. Uh, now, as a traditional family unit becomes less prominent in our society, public schools are taking a more central role in raising our children. Needless to say, this often has a very serious consequence. A high school, high school history teacher in California has admitted to helping students change their gender identity without their parents' knowledge. Olivia Garrison, who is non-binary, told New York Times that they felt it was their job as a teacher to protect kids, sometimes from their own parents. She said, my job, which is a public service, is to protect kids, Garrison said. Sometimes they need protection from their own parents. Many of these teachers are openly hostile to traditional values, and some of them actually post videos on social media where, they're actually, where they actually laugh about what they are doing to our kids. Ultimately, the biggest reason why America is moving away from the traditional family structure is because the country is rapidly moving away from the faith that traditional family values are based upon. In 1972, 92% of Americans said that they were Christians, Pew reported, but by 2070 that number will drop to below 50% and the number of religiously unaffiliated Americans or nuns will, N -O -N -E -S, will probably outnumber those adhering to Christianity. Once upon a time, virtually all mothers in the United States embraced traditional values. Unfortunately, now we have reached a stage where trad wives are considered to be freaks. Modern feminists would have us believe that they, the way that we are doing things now is so much better. But if that's true, and then why are people so unhappy and why is, it a high, why is a higher percentage of the population on antidepressants than ever before? Perhaps we should go back to examine how previous generations of Americans did things because maybe they were a whole lot smarter than any of us realized. It's finally here. Michael's new book entitled End Times now available in paperback and for Kindle on Amazon. About the author, this is written by Michael Snyder. He says, my name is Michael, and my brand new book entitled End Times is now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written six other books that are available on Amazon including Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of Future of America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters. When you purchase any of my books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short, and I need help getting these warnings into hands of as many people as possible. I've published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, and the Most Important News. And the articles that I publish on those sites are published on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal, business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter, and any way that you can share these articles with others is definitely great help. There, these are such troubled times, and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. This is on End of the American Dream by Michael Snyder. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support.
and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.